this video I'm going to set up i3wm for Manjaro whether you use Manjaro GNOME or Manjaro KDE or Manjaro XFCE it will be the same and that will be my i3 configuration file that I use and you can just only run in one command in this video it will be Manjaro GNOME desktop now let's log into that. This is my Manjaro GNOME desktop. It's just install and you know that this one is the vision box. As I always saying this to people, if you're going to do anything change for your system, you better off to do it or to test it into the vision box first. Because if anything go wrong, you don't have to reset your computer. All you have to do is just remove the one that has a problem and then you can make another copy. So that how good of the vision box program. All right, now let's open up the Firefox. Now in the web browser, I'm going to type in github.com slash Farouk Phuket slash desktop dash i3. And then I hit enter. Note that the URL is already at the description down below if you click it it's going to take you to this page here next what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on the code button right here and then click on the https here to copy the url but note that you can download it as zip file if you want to now i'm open up the terminal now I'm going to use GNOME terminal and then I type in git clone and I pass the URL and then I hit enter. That will clone thing for me. It will be 5 megabyte of file. Almost. It will be fast. Now when you type ls you're going to see desktop i3 that what you're going to do. Now let's type in cd desktop i3 and then hit enter so ls again is going to be a file and folders in here but what we interesting is is depend on what your device if you use laptop you go to this if you use computer you go to this now assume that you use the desktop i type in cd4 and desktop hit enter and type in ls now we have the file setup.sh what i'm doing is type in dot slash setup.sh and then i hit enter and that will do a thing for me i have to wait this time because the files is quite big it will be like 60 megabyte actually 40 megabyte of the wallpapers and that will become to install some program that we have to use when we set up i3 now type in the password and then hit enter and it's going to install all the required program that we have to install in order to using the i3 so this one is CMOS is the music player program if you want to close that you just press Q and then Y so it will be closed. Now you might need to type in another time of password and then hit enter. So it seems like the shell is not changed here. So nothing to worry about that is it will be no problem with this. Let me see what happened if we lock out. So now we need to lock out to see an effect. Let's go lock out. Now hit enter and then before you log back in, make sure that you have a look at the bottom right here and you click on that and then make sure that you select i3. Now you type in the password and then log in. It should be something like this showing for you. Let me see what happened if I press what happened if I open up the terminal? 
I'll press mod key and then enter is going to show the terminal and everything's still the same okay to quit out from terminal mod key ship Q so if everything is work great now what if I want to change the wallpaper mod key D and then type in nitrogen and we seem like we don't have any wallpaper in here no worry we have downloaded already just click on preference add the picture is in picture wallpaper select that and then now click OK now you're going to get the wallpaper click on one of them and make sure you select zoom fields here click apply now you get the wallpaper close this mod key ship queue it will be gone so you know that there is no conky showing up right here if you need a conky this is how you're going to do you have to edit the configuration file because I just comment it out so what you're going to do is you open up the terminal and then you go to the config file is supposed to be inside configs i3 slash configs you can use your text editor file to edit this file so for me i use vi and looking for conky so all you have to do make sure that you remove this away out of this line and then you save the file now can quit that and then you press mod key 0 and then E just to lock out and then you lock back in again but make sure that you get the i3 selected right here before you lock in now when you lock back in again you're going to get your con keys to right here the reason why I am disable this is because you know if your computer is a little bit low spec this one is I don't know it just happened in my feeling is it's lag my system so I don't like that if anyone want to have that just go ahead and do that okay I'm not using it on my computer but it doesn't mean that you guys cannot use all right okay that's about it Thanks for watching.